meantime, let's give a big warm welcome for Brian Wagner. Stage, quiet spot. Um, closed my eyes, took a few deep breaths, and I shit my pants. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm okay now. Uh, I don't understand anorexia. With bulimia, you can eat all you want. <laughs> it's the obvious choice. <laughs> We've all heard dogs bark. How do we get bow wow? <laughs> <laughs> you guys are old. Do you remember littering? <laughs> what happened to litter? It was like our national pastime until the 90s. We'd roll down the window and throw any garbage we had right out the window on the side of the road. We didn't even think about it. What were we going to do? Hang on to it until we got home? <laughs> Definitely not. You could walk down the street, you could throw garbage on a policeman's shoe, and he wouldn't say a word. <laughs> It was a good time. <laughs> Do uh, any of you guys have one of those fitness tracking bracelets, like the Fitbits? You do? <laughs> what are you doing with all that data? <laughs> are you going to go home and crunch numbers tonight? <laughs> I'll save the time. You're overweight and you're lazy. <laughs> uh, you know, I just bought myself a uh, motorcycle because uh, I'm a moron. <laughs> and, uh, and everybody tells me, be careful. Like I don't know I'm one second away from death. <laughs> or worse, paralysis. Uh, you know, I'm honest with myself. I'm a coward. I'm not a paralyzed guy. I can't do paralyzed. You got Stephen Hawking and Christopher Reeve. These are great men. They do great things despite their ailments. I don't care. I'm not a paralyzed guy. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> Why do so many black guys wear Bluetooth earpieces? <laughs> do they find they need to keep their hands free more than white people? <laughs> and have you ever noticed that Orthodox Jews wear their phones on a holster on their hip? What are they doing with their pockets? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, for you, for you guys, you know, everybody's playing fantasy football. It's a big thing. And, I was thinking for uh, for a tough manly sport like football, the name seems a bit soft. <laughs> Fantasy football. It sounds like something a couple of Dungeons and Dragons nerds came up with. <laughs> you know, it's light football, but with elves and warlocks. <laughs> like they might play at Hogwarts, and the, the winning team takes home a satchel of gold coins. <laughs> Anybody have, uh, have friends who, uh, who use air fresheners in their cars? <laughs> What's going on in your car that you need to smell like potpourri? <laughs> you know, if you fart, you open the window. <laughs> what else are you doing in there? <laughs> but speaking of, uh, you know, what are you doing in your car that smells like New York City on a hot summer night? You ever get in a cab and the stench is so pungent that you can't breathe? These guys need the potpourri. They have the windows rolled up like nothing's out of the ordinary, and you're gasping for air. <laughs> How's this guy alive? <laughs> the parts per million ratio of stink to oxygen in these cars is so out of whack. <laughs> it's not possible to survive. I think these campies have some mutant gill system that has to convert these sections to breathable air. <laughs> You know, I can't handle a good smell that strong. <laughs> Let alone the rotten farts and body odor these guys are breathing in. <laughs> are they bathing in raw sewage? <laughs> and is, is this what their homes smell like? When did a cup of tea get so expensive? It's still water and leaves, right? <laughs> I was in a place the other day. They wanted $4.85 for a cup of tea. 
What are they using for water? <laughs> the tears of virgins? <laughs> are they picking the leaves under the full moon of the vernal equinox? <laughs> it's tea. <laughs> so a couple of months ago, I, uh, I told my mom I was taking a stand up comedy class. And she says, Don't you have to be funny? <laughs> <laughs> So I said, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>